In child custody disputes, courts conduct an analysis to determine the children's best interests, but often give significant weight to the parents' divorce settlement agreement. But how much authority do courts have over the parents' lives to enforce a settlement agreement stating that the children will be raised in a specific religion? Answering that question proved complicated in the case of Weisberger v. Weisberger. Naftali and Chava Weisberger divorced in 2009 after seven years of marriage. The couple agreed in their divorce settlement that they would share joint legal custody of their three children and that Chava would have primary physical custody. The settlement also stated that the children would be raised in the Hasidic religion and that Naftali would select their school and pay child support. In 2012, Naftali moved for modification of the settlement agreement. He alleged that Chava had violated the agreement regarding the children's religious upbringing by permitting the children to deviate from Hasidic customs and by publicly coming out as a lesbian. Naftali sought sole legal and physical custody of the children with only supervised visitation for Chava. He also sought enforcement of the religious upbringing clause by requiring Chava to practice Hasidic customs when she was with the children and to direct the children to do so as well. At trial, testimony established that the children had a closer relationship with Chava than with Naftali, and that Naftali failed to pay child support or to exercise his full visitation rights. However, the trial court found that changes in Chava's personal life had radically altered the children's living situation. More importantly, those changes violated the party's settlement agreement regarding the children's religious upbringing. The court granted Naftali's motion to modify the agreement, awarding him sole legal and physical custody and limiting Chava to supervised visits. The court also ruled that under the settlement agreement, Chava was required to practice full observance of Hasidic customs whenever she was with her children. Chava appealed to the New York Supreme Court's appellate division. 